What's up, everybody? It's another Hip Hop Today with me, Canary Balance, man. All right, let's get into some topics of what's going on in hip hop this week. First thing we got. All right, it says Rolling Stone founder Jan Wenner has been removed from the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame for following remarks about black and female artists. In an interview with New York Times, he said black artists and female musicians are not as articulate as white male artists. Wow, yeah, it's pretty damn racist. And you got thrown off the board. So, good job, buddy. You just lost your job. Shikari, Shikari Richardson rocks the natural fro. Does that slow her down? I mean, I don't know. It looks cute, though. Let's see. Kai Sinat shoots his shot at Cardi B's sister, Hennessy. Isn't she gay, though? Like, I believe she's, like, in the girls. And is she going to block him, too? Like SZA did? Lil Dirt posts photo with India tweeting dangerously in love with you. Now, I'm glad that, like, you know, things have calmed down for Dirt. Seems like he's growing up and just starting to get into his adult life. Yo, I seen this video earlier. You guys seen uh, Soulja Boy was on stage and his chain exploded? Like, that was crazy. I think, uh, I think that happened to, like, Jody Breeze back in the day. I think that was Jody Breeze that happened to. Like, damn, bro, you, you're not getting your jewelry, like, fixed up? Fan was upset that little baby told her, stop touching me. Don't touch me. She said he lost my support. I mean, but yeah, like, why are you touching on people, though? Like, these these are normal people. They don't just want strangers walking up to them, filling, up, filling on them. He don't know you. And he obviously don't like you like that. You ain't one of the guys on the yacht sandwiching him. Offset pulls up to Colorado with Coach Prime. That's dope. Sierra and Russell Wilson had a date night. Like, that's crazy to announce that. I feel like it's another smart at future. Like, every time, every time Russell does something, it just seems like a toxic jab at future. So Nicki Minaj and Cardi B seem to be going back and forth. Nicki said, let's play a game. And later Cardi tweeted, comfortable always. Does this still all stem back from that uh, motorsport verse? Like, I thought they were over it by now and they moved on. Let's see what else we got. Young Thug's father says he has no issue with Gunna, despite what the internet thinks. Say so Gunna hasn't done anything whatsoever that can hurt us on this case, period. Yeah, shout out to Gunna, man. He's looking like the uncountable this, this year. They tried to cancel him and he uncanceled himself. Ah, new music. Yeah, so, you know, Drake dropped Slime, Slime You Out, and it's featuring SZA, and it went number one on Spotify. Yeah, I checked it out. It was a, it was a dope song. Um, pretty long song. It was like five minutes long, I think. I think my favorite line on it was, you bitches getting out of hand or getting ahead of yourself. Whatever you said on the intro. I thought that was funny. 
But yeah, I was thinking, it's funny, right? I was listening to like Tupac's album, Me Against the World, this week. And I was looking at the um, length of the songs, and some of those songs were like five minutes long. So I was like, man, I bet like if artists dropped a five minute song today, nobody would really pay attention to it because it's of attention span or whatever. But Drake said, hold my bear on that one. Says Lil Baby previews new song allegedly taking shots at Blueface. Lyrics read, put a hundred up a million times. Fuck is a blue face. <laughs> All right. But I mean, blue face though? Isn't like Lil Baby supposed to be like the new generation's TI? I feel like he should be going after artists that are a little bit bigger. Like go at YG. Terry says it's gloves off against DJ Envy after he made fun of his divorce. Uh oh. Breakfast Club getting zesty again. Beige Rage. That's that Beige Rage. This one was funny. So it said, uh, Kurt Franklin finally meets biological dad at 53. It says this man lives down the street from the recording studio. <laughs> Yo, yo, all right. Which city state has the hardest anthem? We got Chief Key from Chicago with Finito. We got Lil Baby with the Atlanta Freestyle. Meek Mills, Dreams and Nightmares. And we got Kodak Black, No Flocking. Out of all that, I actually like uh, Kodak Black the most. Dreams and Nightmares was cool, but it just, it's so old now to me. Because it came out so long ago. I guess No Flocking came out a while ago too, but I don't know, I just like it more. Offset got a new video paying homage to Michael Jackson. I ain't checked that out yet, but I'm gonna go look at it and see what it's about. But yeah, they say that uh, Offset's a big Michael fan. I mean, obviously, if you got Michael tatted on the stomach. Let's see. Kodak Black spotted with new lady in New York City. Good for him, man. Hopefully she keeps his mind right. All right, let's get to the story of the evening. Young Jeezy and Jeannie Ma call it Splitsville. Yo, this was like crazy, right? Cause it says that Jeezy is the one that filed for divorce and we all know by now that in the United States that only like 20% of men file for divorce. So if a man files for a divorce, that means the woman really fucked it. So I don't know what she did or what she said because they haven't gone into any details over anything yet. We don't know. But I'm just assuming, I'm just going to assume she cheated. Or like, maybe she was like sitting at home listening to the Gucci Man album. And got caught. Or like. Maybe her dad said. I feel sorry for your mother. I don't know. Anything could have happened. But. You know. Think about like. Interracial relationships like that. When it comes to like. Blacks and Asians. Typically. Like. Even though both races like each other. There's like some shyness between it. But. Black men do like Asian women, and Asian women do like black men. 
But I think with Asian women, they want something else at the end. So she just moved on. You know, she got a fix. She got a mixed kid. And I'm pretty sure her next husband or boyfriend is going to be a white guy. But that seems to be the big talk on the internet today. And then, y'all remember when uh, Jeannie Ma was like, you know, I like my dark meat on the side? So, like, maybe the whole time, the whole marriage, she treated him like a side piece. Or she might have been running back to her old man. We can speculate a lot, but until we all know what really happened. Let's see. Tyler Perry says in our society, black women are making more than black men, and that's okay. If she's comfortable enough to say, baby, you handle the light bill and I'll cover the mortgage, that's fine. <laughs> I think, uh, guys need to step it up you don't want you don't want your woman paying the mortgage because it's a good way to get your ass kicked out the house when she gets mad or she just gets tired of your ass women they get bored and they move on let's see Billboard la launching a new chart with TikTok called TikTok Billboard. Damn, these songs are launched on TikTok and now, now we're going to have a top 50 TikTok Billboard. All right. So, I think that's all I got for right now, guys. Oh, Chris Brown reveals he has 15,000 unreleased songs. God damn. He just wanted to go, like, well above what Pac was on. They said when Pac died, he had, like, 400 songs that he had recorded. 1,500, though? But yeah, I guess that's true. Like Chris came out in like 2005. So I guess over like 18 years, yeah, you can do it. Yeah, all right guys. So that's another hip hop today with me, Canary Balance. Peace.